Okay, so now that we, you've seen an actual visual demonstration of the square of oppos opposition, I'm hoping that you'll have a better sense of how to use it. Ultimately, the key to all of it, in terms of differentiating the modern and the traditional squares, is to understand the existential fallacy. And there's really two different standpoints. The Aristotelian standpoint says that you can know if things are universally the case, um, and if you say that something, uh, if you make an argument about something that doesn't exist, then you commit the fallacy. So, for instance, if I say all cats are animals, therefore some cats are animals, that's true by Aristotle's view, but it's false by Boole's perspective, because Boole says you can't assume that a universal gives you particular knowledge, uh, which makes sense because we don't have universal cognition. Uh, so that's a case in which we see that the two different standpoints, the Boolean and the Aristotelian standpoints, separate. Uh, by contrast, an argument which would both be false for Bull and false for Aristotle is this argument. All unicorns are animals. Therefore, some unicorns are animals. Aristotle would say this is false because unicorns don't exist. Bull would say it's false for two different reasons. Yeah, he would agree with Aristotle, unicorns don't exist. But also the idea that you can't go from universals to particulars. So this is the key to understand it. Ultimately, if we ask ourselves which relationship is better, I think that in terms of pure rigor, we'd have to go with Boole's perspective. Because I actually don't have universal knowledge of things. Um, so, strictly speaking, I don't know what, what exists in the rest of the universe. So, I think that Boole's perspective is better in the sense that it refines our notion of what truth can be in terms of really differentiating and saying, listen, we don't actually know a lot of what we talk about a lot of what we experience as actually being universally the case, while well, certainly we could say it is particularly the case. Um, Aristotle takes the common sense view that says, listen, if you know the trees exist in the particular sense, you can say universally that um, you can talk about trees in a universal sense. Um, so I'm, while I personally, at least from my philosophical perspective, um, am sympathetic to Aristotle, ultimately I think Bull's right. And that if we want to actually talk about what we can be certain of, we can't actually be certain about these relationships in the traditional square of opposition. But anyway, we're going to use them in logic to test immediate inference arguments. And I think you'll find that it actually adds to our perspective here. Um, okay, so that's it for this lesson. And then we'll move on in 4.6 and talk about how Venn diagrams will relate given our new understanding of Aristotle's, of Aristotle's traditional square. Okay.